Dr. Mala spoke about how the early occurrence of cardiovascular disease occurs in women as compared to men with who are diabetic as compared to the normal uh, women. Also, she did speak about how the intimal thickness, even as early as a young woman who has PCOD, is much thicker than a normal woman. So that was something that was there. Then Dr. Madhu, he spoke about how the glycemic control is always worse in women as compared to men. Um, also, besides that, there is a lack of good glycemic control for long periods of time. Especially pre-diabetes is uh, the duration of pre-diabetes is much longer because women do not go for routine uh, checkups. They do not, uh, you know, believe in. Uh, they don't have time because they're doing so many things for the rest of the family. Um, therefore, pre-diabetes is much longer. This could predispose to um, cardiovascular disease and thereby to heart failure. 2D echo could be an investigation which could, which could uh, detect heart failure at an early stage. Uh, Dr. Mittal spoke about how SGLT2 inhibitors have changed the way we manage people with diabetes. However, we should take precautions regarding the side effects that there are there. Uh, of course, there are differences between the gender. Men have lower incidences of osteoporotic fractures, uh, but they have higher mortality. It's always good to detect uh, vitamin B12 deficiency and uh, vitamin D levels. Uh, and supplement them in small regular doses as compared to giving the uh, bolus doses which we usually give. Uh, besides that type 2 diabetes, there's 1.5 times higher risk of fractured as co uh, fractures as compared to normal. Uh, they tend to even fracture at uh, higher risk for uh, scores. Women tend to have fractures earlier. Then Dr. Kanchan spoke about how Indian women have higher incidence of cancer and it's much earlier as compared to the Western counterparts. Obesity, diabetes, cancer, these are all lifestyle diseases. We need to focus on the lifestyle. Women with diabetes who have cancers are advised chemotherapy, which can be quite uh, worse as compared to a normal woman. Uh, cancer screening also should be part of the diabetes management. However, it is not. Uh, Purvi, Dr. Purvi Chavla spoke about how uh, OSA is more common in women. 66% of uh, women with diabetes have o OSA, but uh, you have to keep uh, just ask the patients when you're taking their history as to how um, uh, their sleep quality and the time of their sleep has been. Uh, the stop bank questionnaire would be a, a useful tool for uh, uh, for physicians to detect OSA and thereby see to it that the patients get timely treatment. Dr. Sudha spoke about uh, women with anemia who usually come to her with worm infestations. They are treated with um, deworming and they do better. Um, lower levels of B12 le is there in women with diabetes who have been treated with metformin for a longer time. Uh, they usually come with the complaints neurological of tingling numbness, burning feet, and they should be evaluated for B12 deficiency, which should be treated by supplements of B12 as well as folic acid. Uh, besides that, vitamin D also should be checked as well as supplemented. Dr. Shiny spoke about the importance of exercise in the management of stress. She also um, addressed the issue of uh, food tolerance, which should be personalized depending on what intolerance is there. Uh, also, she stressed upon how exercise is something that we normally associate with just walking or any aerobic exercise. Strength training is something that we miss. We don't ask or we don't advise our patients to do strength training. Uh, protein consumption should be stepped up, like how she told us about how we can add protein to our daily diet. And that's the end of uh, the summation. Thank you.